Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a special episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. We are listening to Suffocation's Effigy of the Forgotten debut record from New York's fucking finest at the time. I am not a fan of the new album, which is why I was listening to this pretty much all morning, but I'll go into a whole thing about why I do not like the new Suffocation album next week because I'm actually going to do some research and this is a special episode for a fucking reason and it kind of has something to do with the new suffocation the new broken hope the new dying fetus I haven't heard the new broken hope yet but the new dying fetus I also thought was boring it just had nothing that I was really stoked on now I pre-ordered this and the you know, the actual date of release is July 26th. So when the new Temple of Void album showed up in my doorstep, Lords of Death, on Shadow Kingdom and Hell's Headbangers Records, I was like, what the fuck? Did somebody, like, accidentally ship this out early or something? And I hit the band up, and they were like, enjoy. So I don't know what that means, but... Fuck yeah, Temple of Void, I've been a fan of this band since the beginning, and seriously, like, you can ask, well, my friend is, he just got brain surgery yesterday, and for those of you that do care, um, my buddy Chris is doing well, he's in ICU for another day, they think, and then he has to, he has some, nar he, has, he has a long way ahead of him, and it's gonna be a hard journey, and you gotta be strong when you have friends that are going through hard times and learn to appreciate the little things in life that you take for fucking granted. Like getting a killer fucking death metal album in the mail. But Lords of Death by Temple of Void. I've been waiting for an album like this since Star Spawn dropped last year. Like seriously, there's been a couple real close ones, The Ominous Circle, Appalling Ascension, Ascended Dead, The New Necrot, like stuff that was, you know, it was close, but no cigar. I mean, like, it, I listen to Star Spawn on a daily basis, but The New Temple of Void, crushing and heavy death doom from Detroit with members of Acid Witch, Witch and Hellmouth for fans of Aphex, Autopsy, and Bolt Thrower. Colored vinyl. And uh, you have artwork by Paolo Gianni, Girardi, sorry. I always mispronounce his name and he does some of my favorite artwork. Sick, you have their fucking logo on those battle flags. It's so fucking sick. It really reminds me of the trench rot artwork, but just like a lot more trippy and like Dan gravy, but also at the same time like Gerarde kind of has his own style to begin with so that really really captures it and this is available through Shadow Kingdom Records and Hell's Headbangers and uh, the band's a five piece and supposedly they all met lifting weights and <laughs> that probably goes to show why the music is so fucking brutal but um, you have Alex On on guitar, Eric Blanchard on guitar, Mike Arodi on vocals, Jason Pierce on drums, and Brent Satterley on bass. There's the dudes in your obligatory cemetery photo being badass and brutal because that's what this fucking is. And I'm seriously also so fucking impressed with First off, the packaging, unlike a certain record label that I really thought, you know, I could trust, but instead I got two damaged copies of the same album. Like, what the fuck? And not, like, the music plays on the one. I didn't try the other, but it doesn't matter because the music worked fine on the one to begin with. All I wanted was a case that wasn't ripped, you know, like this. A nice brand new record that comes in a nice brand new record sleeve. No tears, no dents, no nothing. Perfect. 
and just look at this color like this is amazing because when like I said I normally don't get excited over colored vinyl but there was an option black or colored so I thought I was pre-ordering it early so I was like all right colored's gonna sell out and obviously it's gonna sell out after you fucking see how badass that is holy shit like wow it's just so impressive and metal of death life of doom hell yeah like that's a fucking slogan to live by full frequency stereophonic sound high fidelity long player for best results play loud 33 rpms fucking a and that's what this seriously is i blasted the hell out of this until my hair grew five extra inches and i also learned from the mighty grim trash can that i was fucking up big time so in case you start noticing i am putting my records back the proper non-lazy way but Let's take a look at the lyric sheet and these live band photos because uh, I hit these guys up as soon as this came in the mail and I got done listening to it because uh, I went on their band camp and realized that, you know, this is almost a month early. So I was just, you know, kind of interested in, you know, how come it showed up early and stuff and I wasn't complaining at all. I was just like, you know, a little bit like, like, hey, like, you guys know you sent me the album like a month in advance. And they were just like, yo, thanks for the support. And that's all they said. They didn't really respond back. And then I listened to the album and I was like, yo, you legit have like the album of the year right now on your hands. Like, no bullshit. You have a couple competitors in the death metal field. And they just said like, LOL, thank you. And... That was it, like, so, like, fuck yeah. And they also said they might play Philly, like, so, hell yeah. But what you get here is, seriously, a complete and total package of killer, crushing, old-school fucking death metal. I mean, like, this is white t-shirt death metal at its fucking finest. Next to Blood Incantation, when it comes to the white t-shirts. But it starts off with the instrumental, the charnel unearthing, and then you go into the brutal fucking assault that is Wretched Banquet. Now, imagine Cannibal Corpse on steroids while fucking copies of Bolt Thrower's War Master. And Fourth Crusade or Fifth Crusade, I'm really bad. Fourth Crusade. Sorry, I'm really bad at Roman numerals. But yeah, that's how fucking good and brutal this is. But after Wretched Banquet, you have a Woodery Endearment. Oh my god. And then The Hidden Fiend, which is one of the best fucking tracks Temple of Void have ever done. And it's probably one of the best death metal tracks of 2017. Then there's The Ominous Journey, which has all guitars by their vocalist, which is badass. The Gift, another just fucking... You'll be headbanging so goddamn hard, trust me. Then, here's a very strange track that I fucking love. It's become a, it seriously came out of left field and kicked ass. This is uh, Graven Desires, and um, it has some Tibetan singing bows by Amy Satterley. Then there's some synths by Omar John Anjai. And then the solo by the vocalist, Mike. So it's like fucking, like, you know, it's all over the place with band members, rel relatives of band members, but then the final track, Deceiver in the Shadows. I was fucking just, I didn't want the album to end. I seriously, it was just like, all right, it's time to put it back on again. Like, it's that fucking good. The replay value is here. This is a fucking fun album. And it's death metal at its fucking best right now. This goes off to show that you don't need to be in California, Colorado. You can be from Detroit and still put out some of the best fucking death metal I've heard this this year. Like, seriously, I'm not just saying that. It's like the boy that cried wolf. 
I know I say it all the time, like, this fucking rules, and, you know, this really, really, seriously, like, you guys are gonna love this fucking album. If you haven't pre-ordered it yet, get on it, because I, I can't get over how fucking good this is. Check out their logo. I like their logo a lot. It is not sketchy in any way, shape, or form. And you just have six, I meant five awesome portraits of the band members below. Just amazing stuff here, seriously. And uh, Shadow Kingdom Records, that was an awesome packing job. This is such an awesome fucking vinyl layout. Just made out of that really nice cardboard material. Just fucking killer shit right here. Temple of Void, Lords of Death on Shadow Kingdom Records and Hell's Headbangers. I guess Hell, Hell's Headbangers is doing the tape or the CD. I'm not 100% sure, but I know Shadow Kingdom did the vinyl because that's who sent me the package with Shadow Kingdom Records. And again, that fucking Paolo Giarde artwork. Just look at that, seriously. It's like Dan Seagrave took some acid Amazing. Fucking amazing. And seriously, the bolt thrower worship is so on point. But like I said, it's like bolt thrower but with cannibal corpse on fucking steroids. It's it's amazing. Every track, it, it's just a cohesive death metal release. From the intro to the acoustic track, just everything about it. It's just everything you could possibly want in a death metal album like that's why i was saying like seriously it's up there with star spawn like when it comes to modern death metal classics like this is going to be on people's lists this is going to be on people's year-end lists it's like th this is just a fucking list maker and again let's just look at that artwork just absolute gorgeous and at the same time Vicious and trippy and just surreal. War. Like, this is what war metal, to me, always was. It was that bolt thrower, you know, hail of bullets. A lot of bands do it. Memoriam. Memoriam did a really good job. And that, that new album is really, really good for The Fallen. But this sounds like bolt thrower in their fucking prime. Like, seriously, I mean, I, un I understand that Memoriam, like, pretty much is Bolt Thrower. I'm just saying, Temple of Void really, really stepped their game up and put out a record that I know I'm going to be loving for years to come and that I just immediately needed to share with you guys because, again, you guys are going to love Temple of Void, Lords of Death on... Shadow Kingdom Records and Hell's Headbangers. And uh, real quick, um, words and music by Temple of Void, recorded at Mount Doom Studio, Warren, Mini uh, Warren MI. I forget if that's Michigan or Minnesota, so sorry. <laughs> but uh, September through December 2016, engineered and mastered by Clyde Wilson, cover painting by Paolo Giarde. Cover retouching by Clint Ford. Live photos by Marie On, Chris Betta, Michael Derrick, Dave Dominic, and Ashley Taylor. Band photos by Marie On. Logo design and layout by Alex On. Special thanks to Don Derry and Vinny. And then there's Worship the Void at gmail.com, templeofvoid.bandcamp.com, facebook.com slash templeofvoid, and youtube.com slash templeofvoid. You need to get into this just absolute grade fucking A crushing 10 out of 10 death metal from 2017 from the depths of Detroit, Temple of Void, Lords of Death. Get into it. And we have been fucking blasting, suffocation, effigy of the forgotten, killer, killer debut album. I need to pick up Human Waste because it fucking rules and... It's essential, and I don't know where my cassette version is. I'm pretty sure it got towed with all my other cassettes. Not not my new cassettes, the old my old cassettes. But 
Anyway, we've been listening to Suffocation, and yeah, get in the Temple of Void. Links below. Hails. <laughs>